Hi guys, this is Katja with Creator's Image. Having a terrible cold, by the way, so apologies for my voice. I'd like to show you a micro album today. And I'm calling this a micro album because the design of the entire album is exactly the same as a, let's say, full-blown mini album. Except its size. It's a lot smaller. And let me compare it for you with a regular sized one. I showed you this one a couple of videos ago and this is what I'd like to call a regular sized mini album and here is its little sister. Isn't it cute? It's the same uh, paper collection by the way. This is both Bo Bunny's Little Miss paper collection and when I'd finished this larger one, and large is not too large by the way. Check out with my hand next to it. I'm guessing it's about 15 centimeters. So when I'd finished this album of course I'd I had some leftovers and the paper pad that I used was six by six inches so I didn't have like enormously large pieces left and I thought to myself what can I do with leftover pieces? I don't want to use each and every one for a card because then I'd end up with an enormous stack of cards perhaps. So let's try something new and I decided to try my hand at a smaller version of this exact same album. So the, uh, the page design that this one has with the tags here and then the, the chain, I imitated that here and I will show you in a moment. So this is the result and I'm very pleased with it because now I have got no leftovers like at all. So on to this micro album. This is its front and I use the cover page of the paper pad. So this is one piece of, well, sort of very lightweight cardboard maybe. And um, here is a flower bread, pretty large one. And this is my sort of a trademark, a trinket, little charm that says handmade. And this one is copper colored. And the other side is like this. I used an eyelet here for the chain closure and this is the closure. And let's open it. Look how cute this album is. As I said, it's a true mini album or a micro album, so it has its own little hidden hinges binding system here. It has a pocket here with a tag and it has full-blown pages with flaps and each page is a pocket as well with its own little photo mat. How cute is that, isn't it? Now as you can see here I used several scraps of paper that I had left and I did that throughout the album, so here as well. So this is another way to use up your beautiful scraps of paper without throwing them away. And the way I did this is I uh, first I spread out all the scraps that I had, created my own pattern and then when I had sort of a sheet I glued them all together using tape and then cut them to size. So these are individually glued together and this is what makes it so nice and tidy. Okay, another flap here. Again with the pattern that I created, a little photo mat here. And as usual I always match the colors of the photo mat to the same side of the pocket that they're in. So as you can see this side matches that one and this side matches this one. This little ribbon here you can put a tag or a little photo. Here a little scrap mat. This is a different piece of the front cover actually, so this is not a, a, what I call a scrap mat, but just a piece of the cover. Except uh, for this one here, this small narrow piece here that actually is a different scrap. I love this paper line, by the way. Little Miss by Bow Bunny. It's very cute, very girly, and a little vintage even, so. A 
photo mat here, scrap mat, scrap mat as well here, and then this is the inside of the cover. This is the chain with a, with a ring to stop it. I did a little handmade stamp here, so it says handmade by and then my name. And here is a border, also a piece of the cover page by the way, and I created a little tag just for fun and it has, it has a little eyelet in pink. So it matches the paper line perfectly. So this is the micro album. I hope you liked it. I adore it myself. Let's close it again. And as I said, it matches its big sister as well. So thanks for watching.